If you grew up poor, you're going to reprogram your mind to learn and see what is around you. And your environment plays a really, really big role on how you're going to act, how you're going to think, how you're going to behave. And if you can learn and read books on how to expand your mind and to more focus on your blessings, the things that you have, your mind, your heart, your health, your ability, your body is a vehicle and it can take you to different places, whether they're mental or the physical places. You would decide where you want to go and how you want to look, how you want to think, your intelligence, those kinds of things. You would have to build those habits over time. And it is possible for you to be successful. If you don't think that you could do it, then you're just going to put yourself in a box and you won't be able to expand outside of that. A lot of things are possible. You just have to see it for yourself. Overcoming fear has been a major challenge of mine and I think growing up I needed to show more of an aggressive mindset and take action. For example, if I was getting bullied or I was getting pushed around, I would just start fighting. And then I noticed that when I got bigger, when I got stronger, those kinds of things went away and I didn't fear these kinds of events and sometimes if you don't necessarily care about your life, that you're not going to have fear because you already know that whatever happens, happens, and you will be okay with accepting it. Uh, learn on how to become more well-spoken, learn how to have a better mindset, educate yourself, become smarter, build up these skills, and you will be more successful, you'll have less fear, and once you build these little wins, and then you can see evidence of it, that you'll become more confident, and you'll have less fear in your life. If you focus on fear and you focus on a limited mindset, then that's what you're going to get. Because if you think of your mind, how you think and how you feel as limited, then you're going to set yourself up and you're going to create that kind of reality because that's what you're focusing on, that's what you're thinking about, that's how you feel. But if you wanted to focus on winning, be so busy doing things that are improving yourself, yourself i'm not talking about other people focus on you you have to be selfish make sure you learn build these habits have a stack go for a walk read a book work out if you want to play games you could be on a treadmill as well but do habits that will help you in the future that will build your confidence that will make you interesting so that and be your best friend learn how to speak to yourself learn how to treat yourself with respect Growing up in the United States has been challenging because I often felt like I didn't belong or I was a foreigner in my own country. I've been asked if where was I from and my family Asian country is English my second language. Does this guy know how to speak? Does he know how to talk? Or my name? It's an Asian name. I don't speak an Asian language though. So that's why there was a major disconnect in terms of communication, my self-love for myself and the confidence that I had. But just know that you're not perfect and learn how to become better. And if you can look at society throughout history, they weren't perfect either. And don't be too hard on yourself. Just give yourself respect, the kindness and compassion that you would give to anyone else. And just know that you will have the opportunity to work for whatever you want in life. And dreams without goals are just dreams. So go capture what you need. If you just took a test and you're wondering what you got, there's no point because you don't control it at that point in time. And don't expect an outcome when you're doing something. For example, if you're gonna go ask a girl, oh, can I have your number so that I can take you out for a drink or something like that? If you care too much, that she'll sense it. And in all honesty, it doesn't matter. She likes you or she doesn't, that's how it is. And if you think of sales, Imagine if you were going up to 100 people trying to sell them some food. You get rejected 95% of the time. Most likely you'll be successful 3 to 5% of the time. So you approach 100 and then you get the 3 to 5% wins. And whatever happens, happens. You take whatever comes your way. Improve in any way that you know how. Improve your communication, your intelligence, things, those kind of things. There was one time when one of my friends, he went to compete and he was just thinking about losing. And that's pretty much what happened, he lost. 
I'm not saying that if he focused on winning, he would win. But you, would, you should focus your energy on things that you want to happen instead of things that you don't want to happen versus if I go for a run, I'm not going to be thinking don't fall on your face. I'm just going to be thinking everything is going to be fine and I'll do my best. I train so that if I fall, I'll put my hands out and then I'll, I'll land on my elbows and then I'll be fine. But I'll focus on things that where you want to go. I'm working on improving my communication versus I'm an introvert or my communication isn't good or these kinds of labels get rid of them because you don't want to program your mind in that sense. You want to program your mind where you want to go, your destination, your journey, and focus. If you're thinking that you're a poser or that you're unworthy of these good things that happened in your life, for example, if you graduated, you got promoted. When I was in martial arts class, I was given belts. I think I went from white belt to blue belt and then straight to brown and hop keto. And I always didn't, I never cared about the belt. And it's probably because I didn't feel worthy of it. And it's kind of weird when I get gifts from other people that I am a giving person and I show my love through actions versus to say it. And I think that you just take what you can get and you accept the good things that come your way and you're worthy. You're a hard worker, you you have value. And if you do get good things in life, it's because you're supposed to get them and be happy and blessed that you have. With communication, you could read a book and when you're reading about something that you sparks an interest, that you could talk about it through recording a video. And once you're done recording the video, you can upload it to CapCut Pro and they have a transcript basing that's called caption. But it allows you to read what you're saying and you would be aware of how you're saying certain things, whether or not you have pauses, pause words, double words, incorrect statements. And these are things that I could be aware of and I'm trying to change it. And that's how you guys can learn how to be more better with communication, better with speaking. And it all starts in your mind and your heart. And you would have to reach out to other people because uh, you can learn from them as well when you're conversing with them that they could teach you a lot from different perspectives.